Well, hi, and welcome back to my beautiful office. I have three glorious days, a long weekend, to wander through my reserve. Oh my God. Look at this, have a look at this. It's a duck. It thinks I'm its mum. Look at this, it is amazing. Wow. I've just been accepted as its mother. What am I going to do? Have I just jumped out of the nest or what's happened? <sighs> well, it's not a bad start to my three day uh, long weekend. Or is it a good start? Poor little thing, it's just bunkered down in my hand. It is just shaking, it is. So frightened, but definitely not in me. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll turn the camera off for starters and then see if I can find the rest of them. All right, so every time I move, that comes running up to me. So I'm going to sit here for a while and see whether it's calls bring in its mother or father. Well, that was an amazing event and it ended happily. So there is a tip for you. Don't pick the poor little thing up and think, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'll take it home and look after it. Or I'll try and find someone who knows what they're doing. Sit, wait, watch what happens. The parents will turn up. In this case, it was one of its uh, siblings. Lured it back off into the scrub there. There's probably a bunch of them all under the uh, scrub there. So it was a good result for me. I haven't had to hang around very long. But what happens? Birds jump out of the nest. Mum knows where they are. She's gone off to get some food for them. Come back, feed them. And if you pick it up and think, oh, so cute. Oh, where's its parents? And take it home the likelihood of it surviving is 100 to 1. So, tip of the day, sit, watch what happens, stay with them, make sure things are all right. The parents will turn up, in this case, siblings turn up. And that's enough for me. Let's get stuck in to this uh, three day long weekend. Well, hi and welcome to my beautiful office. I have three glorious days, a long weekend, to play in my reserve. So I thought I'd have a big practice with voiceovers and take you guys on a journey around my reserve. So let's just get into it and uh, have some fun. It's day one of a long weekend and it's time for me to get to know a female agile antichinus that's nesting in this hollow. And she's been coming to this hollow for quite some years. Because the nest is close to the main trail, I'd be exposed to people walking by. So over the years, I've shied away from studying and filming her. But I did brave it for a short time last year after spotting two of her offspring coming out of the hollow. But I never saw her, because once juveniles start venturing out, their mothers leave the nest and join communal nests with other females, leaving the juveniles to fend for themselves. For the next few days, I'll be spending a few mornings watching out for her coming back to the nest to sleep. Mornings are the best time for me to film her, because the sun shines into the nesting site. 
two hours go by and I haven't seen her, so it might be possible that she's already in the nest. So I'll come back tomorrow before sunrise and maybe I might get a glimpse of her then. It's time for me to go to another location where I have a nesting box that I built for the Agile a few years ago so that I could study what happens inside the nesting hollows. Four days ago I left my trail camera in the nesting box because I'd noticed that two agile females had taken up residence. I'm hoping that the camera has captured some interesting footage. Ah, look at that. They're both in the nesting box. I'll start filming them straight away because it's definitely an opportunity I can't miss. Now that that's done, I'll go home, have my lunch and hang a door. Then I'll come back to the nesting box around three o'clock and hopefully I can see them then. Just before I was leaving, the weather closed in. After an hour, the rain stopped and I headed back out to sit and wait for them to come out. After 50 minutes, the rain returned, forcing me to go home. The following day, I returned just before daybreak to capture a glimpse of the agile female at the first location. But again, she eluded me. But it was nice to listen to the birds for a while. It's time to go and check out some other locations in the reserve. Well, we're at the back of the reserve and right beside me here is a dead wattle tree, hole in it, it's hollow. There's a female been coming here for a couple of years that I know of. Again, exposed to people seeing you. They come and fish here a lot. So another spot that I sort of tend to stay clear of. I'd like to spend some time here because I know that the female's taken up the nest again because I shove leaves in. It's one of my little tricks to find out what's going on. I'll get a stick. Just pretend it's a stick. I'll put a leaf on the end of it. Put a little hole in it, poke it in, jam it so that it stays in the entrance, can't be blown out and has to be pulled out. Then I know what's going on. So that's uh, one of my little tricks. Definitely like to photograph the agile antichinus here because I get full, almost full sunlight. It's a little bit filtered, but I'll get beautiful conditions every now and then to be able to take photographs without using a flash in the forest environment. Unfortunately, you have to use a flash if you want a sellable image. But every now and then, you get a nice spot where you can get some natural light. It's always the best way to go if it's possible. Right, waffling, there's um, another location just down here. We'll go and have a look at that. Right, so this tree fell down a couple of years ago. Has a hollow in it uh, towards the top here. I've noticed that something's been going in and out of there. Uh, there's agile droppings there, so I'm assuming that that's what's been checking it out. A 
couple of weeks ago put a leaf, this leaf, in front of the hole, and every now and then it was pushed out the way, but not regularly every day, just every second or third day. So for the last four days, it's been sitting there and it hasn't been moved. So it's a sure sign that it's not going to be used this year. That most females, even the young first time female Agile Antiquinus, would have all have chosen a nest by now and well and truly have had it finished and be living in it permanently, sleeping in them. So I'll keep my eye on this, but it's looking like nothing's going to happen here. It's day three and I've decided that I'm not going to worry about the Agile at the first location for now. I'll try again in two weeks time when she has left the joeys in the nest. It'll be easier for me to see her then because for the first few weeks she'll go out hunting for short periods of time of around 15 minutes or so. Well I've come to the end of my three day holiday out in the reserve practicing with voiceovers. Yes I know I have a long way to go in that area. It's tough. It's much tougher than I ever thought. Reading a script and trying to make it sound like you're not isn't very easy. And I'm constantly making mistakes. I don't know, I wrote the scripts and I still can't remember them once I start reading them. So anyway, uh, practice will get me there in the end. All right, so I've had an awesome time out here in the reserve. It's been great. Didn't achieve exactly what I was after, but hey, that's... Uh, what happens when you come out in the forest, you've just got to be patient. Right, so uh, if you'd like to go and have a look at my last video, it was about this tripod, this beautiful, versatile tripod. If you want to learn more about it, end screens we have now, right here, there's uh, a little icon there, click on that, it'll take you straight to it. And if you'd like to go and have a look at my channel, man, there's tons of stuff on there. Just like this, me practicing at speaking to the camera, improving my skills in all the areas for making wildlife documentaries in the future. It's going to have a browse. I give you photography tips on photographing, filming wildlife. I get a camera equipment and I review them, just like I've done with this tripod. So that is it. Now, if you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below. And uh, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. I am off to Wilson's Promontory at the end of the week. So Friday, October the 4th, 4th four-day hike down at Wilson's Prom, starting at Tidal River, walking along the beach over to my our first destination to sleep at, and that is Oban Bay. Then from there, we'll move on to Roaring Meg, the most southern part of Victoria and then on to a little Waterloo Bay, so it'll be awesome. I'm going to explore the place as much as I possibly can over those four days. So that's it. That's all you're getting for today. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife, and I'll catch you on the next one. Might sit here for a little while. Just see whether they pop out. Lucas. <laughs>